What's up guys, this is part 2 for animating a character tutorial in Cinema 4D. This tutorial will consist of keyframing, IK chains, and a weight effector. <clears throat> if you haven't watched part 1 already, um, which is rigging the character, you might want to go and check that out first if you have no clue on what to do. Um, and that's just adding bones and being, making him eligible for animating which means moving his arms as such so let's start off with keyframing as this is probably the most important one yet because the other ones just forget that anyway we've got his arm in a normal sort of model stance anyway normal 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 Say I want to move it to down by his side, you just want to select onto the, at this, in this case I would select the forearm, because his forearm is sort of displaced, you just want to bring it down, don't worry about this all stuff yet, we'll sort this out, but I'm just teaching you how to keyframe, say I just want it starting there, I'll just hit a keyframe, Remember, if you're going to move something as well, which I'll probably move the, for, the, the actual arm as well, you'd want to set a keyframe down as well. Um, and you just want to move forward to 30. What's going on here? Don't need them. Don't worry about what I was doing just there. Just forget that. Anyway, yeah, we've got joint 3 and joint 2, both keyframes at the start. So let's say I want to move it out, his arm out. So we got keyframe at the start, just move to 30 move the red out to here and then keyframe see this is where we're going to have to fix it because that just looks plain ugly but if you just scroll through his arm will move and if you click joint 3 and you go to 30 and move his arm like inwards and click that his arm will go in this sort of motion but you could just play around do whatever you want with that and that is how to keyframe basically you can either move like literally um, move along the timeline move the object and click this button which will set a keyframe down or if you just find you would work better with it you just want to click auto which means you just move along move along move so then it just sets keyframes throughout whatever you change. But I don't like to do that just in case I make a mistake somewhere. And then it goes all funny and pear shaped. But that's how to keyframe. If I just revert this back to where it was. Control Z. There we go. That looks good. A weight effector will do now. As this is the second most important I'd say. Um, we noticed that this um, area on his stomach, that his clothing was moving along with it. So you want to select the arm, the whole arm, from arm to wrist, because I doubt the fingers will do much. But you'll need to check it anyway. And if we know if the arm moves, it's going to bring it this with it. Same thing with the forearm. If the forearm moves, even if we didn't select it, the forearm is still moving because we're moving our arm and that controls everything else beyond that so all you want to do is you want to come to a character weight tool and then you come into this wireframe thing and you can see this light blue this light blue type color and that is basically what is affected and so we don't need all this or as this will move with it and we don't want that so you want to set the, tra the mo mode to add the strength to 100 and we just want to select visible only because we want to do stuff behind as well because we just want this part of his arm to stay so if we start just erasing all this out and we don't want part of his helmet this juggernaut's helmet to move either so we just erase that move around to the back and just come around his arm as best as you can might need to zoom in a bit might make it a bit easier mm. 
this is where it would be time consuming but you just want to come around his arm I think that is looking alright I noticed there's a part down here and also up here and I'd say that looks fine but that's only the top of his arm if you come down to his forearm it's still got it as well in fact it's more of the chest so you just want to rub that out as well and this will improve your animations a lot so you just want to zoom in again move slightly and it doesn't matter if you just accidentally rub something out you can just select um, the thing to add again and you can just add and so, instead of erasing I think this is looking good oh 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 go on down here it's better um, we'll leave it at that just come off it and zoom out now let's see what happens when we move his arm okay look so it's still got a little bit left this is just testing basically so we know the arm isn't affecting this bit neither is that but his wrist is so if you just want to erase this and it's putting it back into place maybe the fingers have some which here look so you just want to go into it just going down the whole arm and then there you are sorted your that arm is wicked you can move the arm without nothing affecting it um move it up and yeah and then the forearm just test it but you know and that is basically how you do it you do the same with the other arm and raise this bit out arms and legs like the legs here this this is another part this juggernaut can be quite confusing as he's got a lot of clothing on but uh, you'd get just get used to it as you know see we wouldn't need all this so you just want to erase all this you don't need all this to be changed you just need his leg and um, you want to keep these obviously because it's part of his leg but stuff like his backpack you don't need that and you can just erase that, simple as part of another leg, you don't need another leg changing those you want to keep and you could just test it really and then you just want to come back do some more you might want to keep half of that just in case so you want to just add maybe if you want to just add another bit which I did actually originally so uh, I suppose you could do that you might want to do a little bit more but it's up entirely up to you depending on how you want your anima animation to look but that is how to use the weight effector and it basically just stops things moving when you have applied animation to other things now the last bit of this tutorial is IK chains now this is a, an easier way to anim animate um, some people might think it's alright, some people might not, but I'll teach you it anyway. For example, your arms and your legs, this is what I use them for. You want to select the top of the arm, the elbow and the wrist. You want to select three. And you want to go to character, Make sure, making sure it's the arm. You want to go to commands, create IK chain. And that's just built, basically, moving it in the arm. So once you move... Oh, sorry. You want to select all of it, and when you move it, it moves his forearm, his wrists, and you can just move it around like that, and it will make it easier for animating instead of moving his arm, then his forearm, then his wrist. You can just move his hand. You know, you can move his hand up, down, and and so you can just animate that as such keyframe, and you would key make sure you select this, which will be you can't go back onto this and start moving this about because that's just going to muck up, you need to select this, the joint foregoal 
select where all the yellow, uh, all the red, blue, and green turn yellow, which will be the center of this box. And then you start moving it around like that. Same thing with the legs, you just want to select that, that, and his ankle. So his leg, knee, and ankle character commands create IK chain. And then when you start moving this, if we go into a right hand view, we can start making, like, if I do it on the other leg as well. character commands create IK chain and I select this you can do walking patterns um, I'm not very really good at walking yet I, I don't know much on how to animate a walk but you can just you know you can animate it to what you want as you can see it's sort of a walk in motion but you just, you just get the feel with that with lots of testing and that but as you can see look at this area once I look at this leg that moves as well so I'll need to go back into the weight effector and fix it so I'll just do that quickly just in case you're still confused you want to go to his right you want to start from the top make sure it's on arrays you want to start adding just do that just in case you want to move down to his other leg, which has a bit here. And I think that's about it. Yep, done, sorted. So then we start moving this again, no problem. And that is basically how to animate. So same thing with animation, if you just want to keyframe this here, move forward to 30, move it down here, keyframe, it will do exactly the same. But it will affect the whole ankle, knee, and Uh, leg at the same time so it will go into a standing position again and that is how to basically animate there's nothing really hard to it it's just getting the animations right making it look really nice and smooth and that's just with practice there's no actually good way of doing it you can't be told how to do it you have to sort of do it yourself but thanks for watching anyway um, if you haven't already liked this video, please like it. Please subscribe. I've just started the channel, so there's still lots more stuff to come out. And um, have a nice day. So, peace out.